Alright, I'm going to dissolve some tricantinol now. Um, because it's a wax based substance, um, acids and bases tend not to dissolve it very well. Well, they don't at all actually. Um, so what we use is a product called polysorbate 20. I'm not going to go into what it is, I'm sure you can Google. Um, simply we get our measured amount of tricantinol in a little glass tube or something similar um, because it requires heating. Um, and what we do, at this stage I've got one milligram in there, that's like I said that's the usual uh, dosage rate and we simply add a few drops of polysorbate 20. It does take a little bit of this product, it looks like I'm pouring in a lot but this is a 10 mil bottle so we probably end up putting maybe one mil in there. Um, doesn't really matter if you go overboard. Uh, and there we have it. It's basically a mixture of polysorbate 20 and our tricantinol in there. It doesn't mix in too well, but how we do that is to heat it. Now, there's various ways of doing this. I've done it in the microwave, just simply heating this up in the microwave for a few seconds, giving it a stir. That works all right too. Um, but um, the easiest way I find is well, using my glass bead steriliser. Uh, basically put the product in there, let it heat up and dissolve um, and pull it out and we'll go from there. It will take a few minutes in this glass bead steriliser so we'll just leave it sitting there. Um, can also heat it over a flame, some sort of flame cigarette lighter if you really numb. Can be bothered sitting there for a while. Um, so what we do, yep, once it's heated up and dissolved um, we'll simply add some hot water to it. Um, we'll just go I'll pause this for a while. Alright, a couple of minutes now. Um, and we'll just have a look, pull it out of the glass bead for it. And a bit hard to tell, but she's all dissolved in there nicely now. What we need to do now is, I'll just sit that up out of there, add some water to it. Now, I've already boiled this water, it's distilled water, so it's still nice and hot. Um, we can see, I'll bring it over. Just be careful, because <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Set it down here, hopefully you can still see it now. We'll just add a few drops of water to this. Hopefully it stays clear. Sometimes it'll go milky again. Um, if it goes milky, we'll just simply reheat it again. But at this stage, I think we've uh, done a pretty good job. Um, let's give it another stir. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so what we've managed to do there is melt our um, tricantinol with a mixture of polysorbate and then added some hot water to it and like I said sometimes at that stage it'll go milky again if it does that just stick it back into your heat source either your, you know like your glass bead steriliser or re-microwave it again um, for a few minutes until it goes clear then add a little bit more water to it and now we simply do with this is add it to our required volume of water so measure out whatever um, water you need to mix it with to get your correct um, parts per million and add it and it's pretty simple.